In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the drip text effect. Alright, so before we get started, if you want to download the uh, font and the stock image, it's in the description. Uh, once you do that, you could uh, follow along with me. Now, let's open up Photoshop and let's create a new document. I'm going to hit Command N. And just do 1920 by 1080. Since I'm just doing this for the web, I'm gonna just keep it at 72. Just click OK. I'm gonna change the white background to a black background. So I'm gonna select this, hit Command I to invert it. Now let's go to our text tool, shortcut letter T, or just go here. Now let's select our character. Type in M U E B A N D should be here. Mubin. Close that. Now with the text still selected, just type in drip D R I P. Can't see it right now. Let's change the color to white. Bring the size of it up. And I'm gonna disable this because I don't want it to be all uppercase. Hit Command T, go to the corner, drag it out like that. And you can see it's kind of all squeezed together. So I'm going to change this to zero. All right, looks good. Now I'm going to bring it to the middle. I'm going to hit Command T, right click, hit Skew, drag it up kind of like that. Enter, Command T, hold Alt. All right, looks good. Now let's go to our stock images and open up the drip.png. I'm gonna just drag that into Photoshop. Right click, duplicate layer. Bring that into our drip.psd. That will be this one that we're working on. Uh, make sure you save it. So you say Command S and then just name it drip.psd. Let's name this. So let's group that. So we'll hit Command G. Name that drip. Command G. Name that text. All right. I'm going to disable this for now. Now when you zoom in, the parts that you want to put the drip is where right here where it's hanging so if you spill like something on top of it the drip will kind of drip down like that and you do a little bit there there maybe there you got to put that there there so like that now to do that let's bring this back and let's select this one I must use the lasso tool letter L Make sure this one's selected. Double click. I'm going to hit Command J to make a copy. Hit V or this for the selection tool. Drag it down. Command T. Bring this down. I'm going to bring the opacity down to about 70. Reason why is I want this part right here to line up with that, the text. See how it will drip like that. See how it looks. Looks good. Now I'm going to use the lasso tool, shortcut letter L. And all I want is this part. Double click. Click the mask. Bring the opacity back up. Zoom out. Select this so I can zoom out. All right. Looks good. Now let's bring back our original one. And I'm going to change the opacity to 70. Just hit enter. 
Now for the bottom one here, I'm going to use this. Same thing, lasso tool, shortcut letter L. Let's select this. Hit Command J. Disable that for now. V for the selection tool. Zoom in. Now I want this part right there. And then this one's going to come down like that. So I'm going to Command T. Zoom out a little bit. So about like right there. Zoom in, make sure it's all aligned. Uh, that looks good. Hit enter. Same thing, lasso tool. Select that, select the mask, bring the opacity back to 100. Let's zoom out, Let's select our selection tool. All right. All right, that looks good. I'm going to do the same for the rest of them. Let's bring this back. Maybe use this one. Select that. Lasso tool. Letter L. Hit Command J. Command T. Bring the size of it down. Probably about right there. Bring this up. I'm going to zoom in. Bring this around right here. Trying to move around, see where's the best spot to put it. I think right there. So I'm keeping on these two right here. Select the lasso tool. Hit the mask. Bring it back up. Select this. Zoom out. All right, that looks good. Let's do it again. Maybe select this one. Let's try this one out. Command J. Command T. Bring the size of it down. About right there. Let's move it over here. Maybe this one. Command T. All right, so I'm going to use this and this, but i got to move this to the right. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Hit Enter. So I'm going to keep only this for now. Select the lasso tool. Click the mask. Hit Command-Z to make a copy. Right-click, delete layer mask. Select V for the selection tool. I then we only want this one. Command T. Bring the size of it down. Or maybe instead of that one, let's use this one. I think it looks better. Like that. L for the lasso tool. Same thing. Select that. Click the mask. Select both. Bring the opacity up. Select that. Let's zoom out. Take a look at it. Yep, looks good. Now for this one, maybe like a long drip. Let's bring this one back. Maybe use this one. Select the lasso tool. Command J, make a copy. Command T. Zoom in. All right, that looks good. So it goes down like that. Select the lasso tool. Double click. Select the mass. Bring it back up. Zoom out. 
maybe make it like that move it to the left all right that looks good let's bring this back let's use this one again I'll just use this one with the three command J command T Bring it down about there. All right, it's like the lasso tool. Click the mask, bring it back up, zoom out. All right. It's looking good. Now I'm going to add a couple more, maybe right here. And then this one right there. So this one, I'm just make a copy and bring it over here. I'm trying to find where that at. Command J. Just make a copy. Command T. I'm going to hold shift so I can stretch it out like that. Make it kind of skinny. Command J again, bring the size of it down. No, I think that looks good. Let's make a copy. Let me see how this look right here. Command T. Command J, make a copy, Command T. Let's bring the size of it down. Kind of like that. Alright, looks good. Alright, I'm gonna go back in here, just clean this up right here. Zoom in. Alright, found it. So is this one? Select the lasso tool. And I'm just gonna remove that. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna fill it in with black. Make sure that's black. I'm gonna hit Alt Delete, Command D to select. Now I just remove that little pixel that was right there. Save this. Zoom out. All right. Now we're gonna create some drip on top. So to do that, let's select both of the group. Hit Command J, Command E to merge it. Now we just have this into one layer and let's group this, name this top drip. All right, so I'm gonna change the background to gray so we can see this. Actually, you know what, just keep it black. I'm gonna do the, um, the drip a different color so you can see that. All right, so let's go down here to our text or our drip, the original one here. Hit Command J. Bring this up. And let's change the color for that. Double click, color overlay. Let's change that to kind of like a purple. Click OK. All right. So here's going to be the cool part right here. Disable this. I'm going to hold command. I'm going to select this and make a selection. We want to increase it by 3 pixel. So select, modify, expand, 3 pixel. Click OK. Now go here to our top drip folder and select the mask. All right, now let's enable this one. Let's bring it outside the folder so we can see it. And kind of the same thing we did with the um, 
the drip on the bottom you can do on top now so let's select this one select the lasso tool command J disable this for now and let's bring this to over here make command T bring that down So I'll say about right there. So it's gonna look like it's kind of spilling over. And this wraps a little bit around it like that. And that looks good. Save that. Let's bring this back. Make sure you select that. Select the lasso tool. Now let's use this one. Command J, disable the main one. Command T, V to move it. All right. Command T, bring it down. Maybe about right there. What about right there? I think that looks good. Save that. Now go back to our main one. Let's select this one. So make sure you have that selected. Select the lasso tool. Command J. Let's move this. Command T. See about right there. And let's make a copy of this one. We only want that, so I'm going to select the lasso tool. Delete that. Command D to select. And add one more right there. Let's bring back our main one. Maybe use this one. Oh, make sure you have that selected. Command J. And let's move this to the left. Zoom out. Command T. Bring the size of it down. Right click, flip horizontal. Bring this right here. Command T. I only want that part right there. So move it. Yep, looks good. It's like the lasso tool. Delete that. Command D to select. Let's go ahead and save it. All right. All right, now for the cool part. Select all this, hold shift, bring it inside the group. I'm gonna group it, Command G. So that's that, I'm gonna hit Command J to make a copy. And then let's bring the opacity all the way back up. Save that. All right. So here's the master copy. I'm just saying that master, just in case we need to come back and adjust things. Here's the copy that we made. I'm gonna hit Command E to merge it. Now you select Command, select that. You zoom in. So where you see the drips coming down, on here on the mask, we want to paint that back in. So if you hit D to uh, default, this should be white. Select B for the brush. Make sure size about 22, hardness all the way down. And make sure it's white. Make sure the mask is selected. And when you paint that in,
Now we don't need that, so I'm gonna hit X to change it to black. That's how you toggle between the two. Erase that. All right, this one looks good. All right, I'm hit. I'm still black, so I'm gonna erase that. Zoom out, save this, Command-D to select. Now we're almost done. Almost forgot one part. Right on the left. Again, hold Command, select this. Go to the mask, select the brush, make sure it's white. Paint that in. Command-D, deselect, save that. All right, looks good. Now let's make a copy of the top drip. Command E, you'll merge everything. Right click, apply layer mask. Now everything is applied. Now let's clean this up. I'm gonna select this, sample the color, click OK. And the color code for that is 9B46. BB, click OK. I'm going to select the brush, bring the size of it down, just paint that in, kind of like that. Go here to the right, same thing. All right, that looks good. I'm going to delete that, so I'm going to select the eraser tool, letter E, bring the size of the brush down. Hardness all the way up. Delete that. All right, that looks good. Now let's create a new layer. Bring this underneath all the white text. So down here. Zoom in. Select the brush. Make sure it's still purple. And then this one go behind it like that. So now, it looks like the drip is on top of it. I'm going to clean this up right here. It's like eraser tool, letter E. All right, that looks good. Go back down here. I'm just name this bottom purple. So it's that. Now let's go down here. Select the brush. Same thing. Just paint that in. Let's go up here. Just paint that in. that go back to the bottom you could even make it look like it's dripping on the side like that all right looking good let's go back to the top clean that up select the eraser tool Go to the bottom, select the brush, paint that in, maybe like that. Down here, to the right. Like that. This one's going to curve like that. Maybe in the back right there. Zoom out. Look.
looking good. Let's see, maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. So select command, select that, select modify, expand, Let's try five pixel. All right. Thing that might do it. Let's try it out. So let's go here to the top, select the brush, and just only paint in this area right here. Same thing here, because we're gonna go back to the bottom purple, paint everything in. Maybe increase the size of the brush. Let's see hardness all the way up. All right, it's looking much better. Command D to select. Let's go down here to the bottom purple. And just smooth that out like that. Same thing there. Let's go back to the top right here. Let's clean that up. Back to the bottom. All right, that looks good. Fix that. Alright. Alright, now let's make a copy of the bottom. Just name that master just in case we need to come back to it. Disable that. And the where's the text at? Not that one. Not that one can't find it so I'm gonna make a copy so I'm gonna select shift hold these hit command J command E to merge it just name this master merge so I know that we merge all that now let's select command select that it will make a selection go down here to the purple bottom purple and hit delete command D save that now you could bring the bottom purple to the top one to merge it because if we didn't do the this one and deleted it if we bring this up above it you see how the brush is all on top of that we don't want that so that's the way or that's the reason why we did it that way save this now right, so I'm gonna go to the top drip I'm just clean up a couple of things so right here, select the brush. Just merge that. Clean that up. This one also. Just go ahead and save that. All right. Now let's go ahead and clean up our layers. So we're gonna use this one the bottom purple copy, the top one, the white text right here. So let's make a copy of that. Disable all of this. And let's go ahead and group all the one that we're not using. Just name that master. 
bring that down save that all right now we're gonna add some color to it so let's go to just name this green because I'll make that green so merge these two command E and that'll be purple so for, for the green scoop that double click this let's do some gradient overlay cancel let's see All right, so I see where I did something wrong. There's a white layer in the purple, and that's the reason why I keep all the copies. <laughs> all right, save this. Now if we go back to our master. Here's the top drip. See the white is inside there. I'm supposed to disable that one. All right, so luckily we didn't do all this work for nothing. So let's disable that. Here's the green. That's good. Here's the purple. So since for me messing up, you can learn something new today too. So let's go down here to the background. Let's invert it, Command I. Now I'm gonna use the color channels to select the purple. So I'm just gonna go channel. So I'm going to try to find one with the most contrast, which will be the green. So I'm going to right click, make a copy, click OK. Go down here to the green, make sure there's only one selected. Command I, Command L to bring up the levels adjustment. And we want this to be fully white, so we can drag this past that mark. Click OK. Select RGB. Go back to the layers, disable that. Let's invert our background back to black. Enable the green layer. Make sure the purple is still there. Create a new layer. Select, load selection, green copy. Click OK. Bam. It's right there. Fill that in. Alt, delete. Command D, deselect. So, luckily, we didn't mess anything up. I mean, I did mess something up, but not to the point where we can't get anything back like this. All right. Now we can start doing some adding the color. Delete that. Don't need that no more. Name that purple. Group this. Command G, group that. All right, I'm going to save that. Now let's go to our green, double click, gradient overlay, let's change it to green, so about right there, 00AA04, click OK, let's change that to another green, but more lighter. 39F24F. Click OK. Let's go to bevel. Just click OK. Now you click on bevel. So this is the last setting I use. So just copy this, so the size of it, 16, pixel 2, and then make sure this curve is selected. And then just copy that, 56, 32, the color white, change the blending mode to color dodge at 75. Yeah, just keep it at 75. Shadow. Should make it dark, click OK, or make it black at 70%, blending mode, color burn, click OK. All 
All right, just right click, copy layer style, and paste it to the purple. But let's change the color, double click. Gradient, change that to purple. Change that to that, but a lighter one. Click OK. Click OK. The bevel, let's bring the size down. About six. Zoom out. All right, it's looking good. I like the green and the purple contrast. All right, just double checking my work. Now let's add some shadows. Let's create a new layer. Group that, name that shadow. We're going to bring this underneath the purple. We want it to only affect the green. So I'm going to hold command, select that. It'll make a selection. Select the shadow. Select the mask. All right, now hold command. Select the purple. It'll make a selection around it. Select the new layer. And then make sure that's black. Fill it in. Alt delete. Command D to select. Now you can see the shadow right there. So when you move it around, it's only going to be inside the green because we created that mask. We'll click undo. I'm going to do, I'm going to nudge it to the left, kind of like that. Bring the opacity down to, well, let's try soft light, see how that looks. Mm, multiply, yeah, just keep it at normal. Just bring the opacity down about 58, save that, and we can clean up the shadows, say right there. That looks good, good. Gotta fix that. So I'm gonna use the smudge tool. Strength at 100. It's like the shadow. Bring that in like that. Bring that in like that. That looks good. Zoom out. Save that. So make sure you guys like it and share it. 